good sir. Amen. Uh, my name is Perry Ferre, and this is my testimony. Uh, though I had heard the gospel from Sunday school, and also from my sister, who had become born again in high school, I never really thought about this being important for me. But by the grace of God, I had a sermon in high school and was convicted of my sin, of my sinful nature. I prayed for the forgiveness of my sins through Christ Jesus, as directed by the pastor, and felt a load lift from my heart. Uh, many experiences and hardships have followed, but by his providential work and his word, uh, I have continue, he has continued to help me persevere. And truly, as his word says in, in Philippians 1, 6, uh, being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Jesus Christ. Um, I have believed and trusted in Christ for the forgiveness of my sin. And yeah, I'm persuaded that he'll be faithful to the end. Amen. 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 <clears throat> Paris, upon your profession of faith in Christ and of your repentance of your sins, I baptize you now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Be joy and My name is Ronald. I was brought up in, in, with a Christian parent. Brought up to the knowledge of Christianity. Since then, attending Sunday services at a local church. All this time, I have lived a life knowing I am a Christian by simply being a good individual who does not, does no wrong, as my parent will put it, who heeds to advice and mostly importantly, the word of God. I knew in fact that if God is for me, who can be against me? From Romans 8.31. I never had a deep knowledge of the truth about who a Christian is apart from one whom Christ died at the cross for and paid for his or her sins, so as to live a good life with no fear of hell. In 2013, someday in my university education, I attended a fellowship after battling whether to or not to attend. God's word was preached. Thereafter, a time of prayer is when God made me see the sinful life I, I led claiming to be a Christian enjoying myself in sin and pleasing my flesh with worldly desires. A deep urge to sin and enjoying being in the congregation of sinful men and being comforted in the life, later with my good life to live out there. Seeing that Christ being given to die at the cross for sins, would be, sinners would, would believe in him and would be made righteous through Christ on Christ's own righteousness. Having risen from the death with them, men and women will live their life as that of Christ, striving to be holy as God is holy, through faith in the powerful working of God, through Christ Jesus. I repent my sins before God, acknowledge my transgressions and my sin, and leaving it all to God, not my, me striving to make myself pure, but him cleansing me to the blood of his Son, shed to redeem me from the bondage of sin. Each day I am being made holy through the work of the Holy Spirit, helping me to live a life that pleases God, glorifying Him, honoring Him in all I do, since He loves me and keeping His command not to seek any approval of man, but since He works in me both to will and to do His own good pleasure. In and of myself I can't. I'm a servant of righteousness, not of sin anymore. For by grace I've been saved through faith, not of my own doing, but a gift of God. Amen. Thank you, Ronald. Uh, Ronald, upon your profession of faith in Christ Jesus and of your repentance of your sins, I baptize you now in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. My name is Adel Muhammad Wahid. I'm a Borana, a Kushite. Uh, I've been coming to Trinity Baptist Church ever since I was two years old. 
who have been coming to this church for a long time. I had never seen my sins and my need for Christ. I used to come to church for one day, which is Sunday, and have six days with the world. The gradual exposure to life arose many questions like, who am I? What's my purpose in this world? What's the meaning of life? I know there is a God, but who and where is he? What's the right religion? When I die, what next? I started searching for the answers of these questions and I found myself in situations that I never want to experience again. Like one time I found myself with a, with a council sitting together with, uh, with the sheikhs, uh, these Muslim people, and they were preaching to me about Islam and how Islam is the true religion. And a few days of, uh, down that road, I came to realize that that isn't what I have been searching for. So, although, although, uh, uh, I later realized that uh, what I was searching for wasn't that. I went to things like Catholics, uh, to my good works, and, all, and a lot of things, but I never still felt uh, fulfilled in the, that life. So, okay. although a lot of Sundays of my life I have been in church, I never, it never clicked to me that what I'm searching for is in the church. But God, being rich in mercy, opened my eyes and I could see then and now, see my sins, see my worthlessness, selfishness, my pride, for I thought it was all about me and my questions, but all along it was God and his glory. For God is bigger than life itself, bigger than my life. He is my reason for existence, my identity, my life, my future, my everything. I felt so sinful, so sinful that even my best of good works were like filthy rags to him. So I could do, so I could do, uh, not by my own strength or will, but that of the God was to go to Christ on my knees and plead for mercy, asking Christ to save me, save me, Lord, for you are my only hope. After believing in Christ that my sins were forgiven, I never felt so at peace. My questions changed from uh, wanting to know about me to wanting to know about God. With God, life becomes more meaningful. Living every day and doing everything for God's glory is now what I want. My name is Adam Mohammed Wario, and Christ is my all. Amen. 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 Adam Mohammed Wario, because you've trusted in the Lord Jesus Christ as, as you've told us and repented of your sins, and I'll baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.